Okay, this thing is really messing up my paper. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Misty Hina with Misty Needle's Lego Robotics. Well, you can say I was inspired by the Ozobot. My students are using the Ozobot right now and we thought, hey, why can't we make some type of endless line following gizmo? We call it our hamster wheel. And I thought, why can't I do that with Spike Prime and EV3? So I was inspired. So today I'm going to show you how you can turn a Spike Prime and EV3 robot. And if you have enough paper and some black ink, you can make an endless line following for that robot. Let's check it out. Okay, so all you're going to need are three eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. All I did was just draw a black line straight down the middle of all three. And then I taped them all together. And I basically now have my endless line following. And I'm going to just show you today, I can take my EV3 robot or my Spike Prime robot, put a line following program on them, and then just set them on there and just watch them go. Okay, so here are my three sheets put together. I'm just going to start with my Spike Prime robot first. All I do is set it on the line right there. Okay. And I'm just going to start the program. Check him out. Let's try the EV3 robot. Okay, we got the EV3 in the hamster wheel now. Let's do this. And it's just really get, it's getting it hard. To, okay, there we go. A little bit. No, these tires, I think, are just making this really hard and messing up my paper. Okay, so this EV3 robot, I'm going to switch out the tires. And we're going to see if it really was the tires that's messing up this whole hamster wheel. Look what the EV3 did to my paper. Man. Okay, so I have my EV3 with the spike prime wheels. I feel like it's going to work really good. Let's go ahead and test it out. Okay, we have the EV3 in here with the spike prime wheels. Let's see if my theory is correct. I got a feeling it might be the weight. It might be that this is so heavy, it's pushing everything. I don't know. It's, let me see if I can fix this. I definitely think it's the weight. I think the weight is pushing this 
so that, and then having it mess up my paper didn't help either. So it's just having it, it's going to have a hard time reading the line. Oh boy. So this EV3 is definitely not cutting the endless hamster wheel here. Oh, it was going for a little bit there. And then it just, it accordioned up my paper right there. You see how it's just messing up the paper? Now it's just going to be really hard to read. Yeah, it's just messing up my paper. Oh well, we gave it a shot. Okay guys, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't disappointed. I thought the EV3 was going to come through. I thought it was the wheels. We switched to Pr Spike Prime. Um, I don't know what happened. I don't know if you need to get a more sturdy, like a poster board type thing. Um, I'm going to give it a shot. I just didn't have a poster board. I just assumed and thought it was going to work. So definitely for those of you that have Ozobot Evos, you can do the endless line follow. Spike Prime, you can definitely do it. EV3, we're going to have to work something out. So I apologize. I was disappointed. I thought I might be able to get it to work, but it, it did not. So... But it's a really cool project to just kind of show, hey, this thing can follow a line and it can be endless as long as you can get that thing to just keep rolling. You do have to be careful on what side of the line you set your robot on um, because if you set it up on the wrong side, it will just go off the wheel. Um, but it was really neat to be able to show my students that. They loved it. And it's just a neat thing to, you know, open up their minds to creativity and something that you can just enjoy to watch. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am Mr. Hino from Missions Lego Robotics. I am out.